What's up, Canna Babies? What up, Cap Squad? So today, I'm going to be doing a vlog. Um, today I'm getting my hair done because it needs to be done. Yes, hunty. Yes, it does. But before we get into this vlog, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I do a video. Yes. So today's going to be a vloggy vlog. Um, about me getting my hair done, basically. Um... Yeah, um, I do have some other videos, some more entrepreneur videos coming. Um, I'm getting some new shipment in, some new stuff, so be on the lookout for that as well, hunty. But first, we're gonna use this $4.99 <laughs> African's best on this hair, hunty. Yes. So I'm going to get my hair um, braided slash crochet slash whatever. But yes, we're going to go ahead and start doing this pen. Hunty, hunty, hunty. Yeah, excuse me. This is my first time actually doing like a vlog like this. So, excuse me. Uh, excuse me and my back my bathroom is not really decorated right now because I am trying to redecorate my house so I've taken everything out yes let's give that too as well but anyways let me go out here pardon me so I won't be late for my appointments I'll have everything done yeah yeah Oh yeah, and y'all, yeah, whenever I'm doing stuff in the bathroom, like my hair or getting dressed, I'm always watching either something on YouTube or something on Netflix. And right now I'm watching Nick and King being Uber drivers for 24 hours, bad idea. So yeah, I'll be watching this while I'm doing my hair. Well, permit my hair. Okay, kind of baby. So for this part, I decided to do a voiceover since I was watching Nick and King and it was a little loud. But first, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to perm my hair doing the setup i just showed you the perm which is step two the activator is step one then you have this jamaican black castor oil yas next you have the olive oil shampoo and then we have the African's best uh, leave-in conditioner this is the instructions if you have a perm you already know the instruction comes with two pair of well a pair of gloves in there uh, excuse me I popped the little stirring stick out but yeah here goes the gloves but I don't use gloves when I perm my hair if you have more sensitive skin or you just want to lose gloves, you can use those or you can buy your own. But this is the stick. It just popped off the box. Now I'm just setting everything up. The instructions is on there. If you never did a perm and you wanted a perm or you've never done your own perm. So all of that is right there, y'all. So next I'm going to use some coconut oil to um prime my hair I'm just gonna put around the edges and a little throughout my hair once I can get the uh, <laughs> coconut oil out anybody knows if you need the coconut oil around a certain temperature um, it would actually be liquid so if I was to leave it in a hotter place it would be liquid or if it was colder it would get back like that but as soon as you rub it and touch it on your body heat it turns right back into the actual liquid oil type so it's very easy to use very easy to apply and I'm just gonna take this ribbon off of my little puff I had going on and as y'all can see I'm just applying it to my edges because one thing you want to do is make sure you get those edges baby because anybody got a perm those edges around your perimeter of your head your forehead behind your ears the back of your neck that is the most part that it can damage or burn just because you don't have as much hair there as throughout the rest of your hair. So, yeah, you want to make sure you got that all good and all oiled up and all moisturized. Yes. Then, 
I'm going to split my hair um, on the instructions to tell you to split your hair in four parts. I split my hair in four, six, eight, whatever. It just depends on how I'm doing it. But right now, I'm not actually getting this perm to have a flawless perm. I'm just getting this perm so that, you know, she would have easier time combing my hair, going through my hair, um, slicking my edges. So that's what I'm doing. And after that... It's now time to get the cream or relaxer, which is step two. And then you take the activator, which is step one, and you pour it inside there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove this uh, tab, remove this cap, pour, 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 pour it up. And if you use activator in a perm, the perm is usually white and the activator is yellow. It looks like, um, Pee. Let's just be honest, it's a little like pee. And then you just stir it up. You just stir, 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 stir it up. And I fast forward this part because it takes a lot of stirring with perm. You just gotta keep stirring, you gotta keep stirring. Gotta, woo, take a break, keep stirring, you gotta keep stirring, you gotta keep stirring. You wanna make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the perm, you guys. Evenly distributed throughout the perm, okay? Okay, because you don't want to mess up your hair. So, this is what it looks like. Now that it's even scripted, the perm should look back white. It should look white. Period. Poo. If it looks yellow or in between or too soupy, no. It should be back white and it should get back like a cream. Put it like that. So, now what I'm going to do is section my hair off with my hands. Yes, I'm horrible, but yeah, I section my hands off with my, my hair off with my hands. And what you want to do is you want to perm only like the base of your hair and then upwards. So you don't want to really put it on the scab. Um, sometimes it will touch the scab just because it's a cream. So, but the goal is to perm the base of your hair and then go upwards. And if y'all hear my kids in the background, excuse them. Because they just don't know how to be quiet while I'm trying to record. But yeah, so you just keep repeating that. You're going to go throughout your hair doing that. And then that would be it. Okay, guys, I'm back. And you know the whole purpose for me. Putting this perm in was to get my edges straight, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going around these edges. So that they could be somewhat laid down. Okay. Because ain't nothing not cute to get your hair braided or something. And your edges just look a mess. Now, when I'm rocking my fro with my regular puff or stuff like that i really don't care but if you can have neatly braided or neatly done and then your edges look a mess it just makes the whole hairstyle just look awful um it makes it look off you know it makes it look old and that just ain't cute so yeah baby so we just making sure everything is just nice and then it also just, you know, gives the person doing your hair less work to do. And another reason why I do perms um, as well, because I do a perm in like today, like I'm perming him today, and I probably get another perm for like three, four, five months. But also, um, it also helps, I have really, really bad dangers and stuff, so it also helps, like, clear my head. I know that doesn't make sense to some people, but it does. I don't use all kind of different shampoos, conditioner from the store, over the counter, doctor prescribed, all that good stuff. It, it does nothing for my hair. So, yes, this is my hair. I just went through a little bit of the middle. And I made sure to get those edges, hunty. Yes. Yes, hunty. So, that's that. I'm going to let this sit for probably about three to five more minutes. And I'm going to wash it out. 
and then I'll be back with y'all once I get ready to leave the house. Catch me later, kind of babies. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the car. This is my hair after getting it permed. It's still gonna be frizzy because I do have black people hair. <laughs> um, oh, my camera's fogging, but them edges gonna lay down a little bit better now. I had a, like a little regular perm. It wasn't like a strong perm, so. But, just so she can get the comb through a little easier and get to work, my camera is so foggy. I think it's because of the bathroom, but we're about to head to our destination. Um, I got all my hair supplies that I needed, and I also got, I also got me some ibuprofen, yes, because I'm going to pop that as soon as I get there. Because I do not like my head to be hurting. Um, and anybody who gets braids know that braids sometimes hurt. Um, even if it doesn't hurt while you get them, sometimes like late on that night it hurts. But I'm gonna pop one um right before she starts, and I'm gonna pop one afterwards because it's gonna take probably at least two hours or more. And I'm gonna pop some night before I go to sleep. <laughs> so we're on the road now, leaving my house. Headed to the destination, and I'll see y'all soon. Okay, guys, so I made it to the destination. I'm about to pop this medicine and go inside. Okay, y'all, so we're back, and this is the finished product. Yes, yes, hunty. I am feeling myself. Yes, and all I got done is my hair so far. Yes. Mm, I like, I like. Yes, I like. <laughs> so, guys, I don't know if I'm going to end this vlog here or I'm going to do some more stuff, but I just did want to show y'all the finished product of my hair. I am about to go get something to eat, so I may bring y'all on with me. I ain't gonna stop it right here. I'll at least bring y'all with me to get something to eat. Cause it is now, uh, let's see what time it is. It is now 12.52, so it's not even one o'clock yet. I got here about, um, about 10.57, so that didn't even take a full two hours, so. And she did not start like as soon as I walked through the doors, of course. Um, so she probably started a little bit like maybe 11, 10 or something like that. So yeah, less than two hours and my hair is cute. I love it, I love it. So now I gotta decide what the hell do I want to eat? What do I wanna eat, y'all? I don't know. I'm just gonna drive somewhere so I pick y'all back up whenever I decide to stop or whatever I'm gonna get something to eat from. So guys, I decided on Wendy's. Let me put my seatbelt on. Y'all do not do that. Do not drive without your seatbelt on. So I decided on Wendy's. I wanted Sonic. Sonic was down the street, but I didn't feel like waiting on Sonic because I'm kind of hungry now. And then there was an Arby's, a Chinese restaurant. They forgot random Chinese food. Um, a little too hot for Chinese food. Um, Subway. They feel like got the car. Well, Arby's, it just, it didn't have a good taste. Like, you know how sometimes you can taste your food before you eat it? Like, I just don't want Arby's. So... I was like, Wendy's, and I'm gonna be cheap and just get a four for four. Surely am. Surely am. Yes, I am. Take order, please. He says, Can you repeat that? Yes, ma'am. I take order. Can I get a four for four? 
I would like the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. And sweet and sour for the sauce. And uh, a Sprite with no ice. Yes. Thank you for it,